first, I want to say I really love this show. It's what helped me maintain my sanity um, recently. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a it's a rough far, it's a rough year, man. It is a rough year. Yeah, and I listen yeah, it, to this show every night. Awesome! I'm glad to hear that. Well, I'm glad we're keeping you afloat. So you can imagine. You can imagine my surprise when I came home that one night and I turned on my speaker and it was blank. <laughs> uh, imagine my surprise that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I don't even think I could begin to imagine that. I, it, it was um, it was very shocking. And of course, he's alluding to the one night that Free Talk Live did not broadcast at all because... <laughs> The only people who knew how to fix things after the FBI raid were in jail. Now, there, but there was a show that was there was but aired. It was, that wasn't aired, but it was recorded. It was broadcast onto YouTube on uh, the Breaking the Flaw channel. If you want to know more about that, though, check out thecrypto6.com. That, that's the best way to learn about it. There's no statements from us or anything like that. I hope that there will be in time. But there aren't at the moment. But yes, uh, as, we were as far rated as and COVID shut down for goes, yeah, Go ahead. Sorry. I had that in January, and the taste will take a while to come back, but uh, it's mostly back. I think that sometimes I'm unsure how I'm tasting things, but just to let you know, that should definitely come back. But that was one of the things that – that was all I had, the loss of smell, loss of taste headache for me that was really all it was but yeah the loss of taste did suck too much i'm told it's up to four weeks before the taste returns but some people have actually experienced that for up to six months whoa yeah yeah it would suck yeah, if you too. like eating drinking and well i have noticed that i'm already beginning to lose weight because i'm not eating as much because i can't taste it there there's no there's no joy in eating there's no point in eating except to make hunger how long have you been sick a couple of days i think you're imagining things me i'm losing by the way i'm losing weight too but it doesn't have anything to do with my loss of taste it just happens to be with the the the, 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 the summer's coming spring springtime i don't think i lost any weight i i still ate i just didn't like order as much stuff i just ate you know junk <laughs> and you know what but if that actually that worked long. you know what if that actually worked the, the diet companies would already be selling millions of lose your taste for a week capsules. And that well, would, it's it, not a pleasant experience. But I mean, if it, but if it actually worked and people ate less, then that would some people, maybe, that, maybe that's a thing. Maybe, maybe some entrepreneur out there could capitalize on the lose your taste for a week pill. <laughs> I, I, I doubt Guaranteed it. to lose 15 pounds in the first month because you can't taste anything. <laughs> Not once people started trying it, man. It, it is not a pleasant thing at all. You may think, oh, this you want to be, you want to be a fatty, or you want to be for the first few. What's, what's more important to you? For the first few days, I was like, oh man, that's that's really odd. That's really fascinating. Just how complete and total the loss is. But as it goes on and on, I'm just like, I got a sandwich from D'Angelo's today, and as I ate it, I was just sad that I couldn't <laughs> taste any aspect <laughs> of it. I don't remember oh, what I wow. ate. So uh, don't waste your money on good stuff. Yeah. yeah the, Get crap right now. Like, yeah, it took me a few days and... to realize that. But there's this Dutch restaurant here in Kane <laughs> called Fritz. And I ordered a some, some buffalo bacon chicken ranch panini or something like that from them. Got to work, sat down to eat. It was like, I just, I just spent $15 on this thing and I can't taste it. Oh, God. <laughs> it sucks. Thank you so much for the call tonight, Robert. Um, I'm glad to hear that, you know, your taste buds are recovering. What was strange to me was that I lost the sense of taste first, and then I lost the sense of smell. Like when I first noticed it, Bonnie tested it with that vanilla stuff sitting there, and I was, I was able mm -hmm. to smell the vanilla. I can't now. Like I, wet cat food has a very strong odor, yep. it, an indistinguishable odor. I can put my nose practically inside one of these cans and not smell it. That is so bizarre. It is, man. I've never, I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this. I, I absolutely haven't. And I'm ready for it to go away. Eating spicy foods, I've noticed I can still detect some level of spice, but I was eating habaneros yesterday mm -hmm. without any issue whatsoever. Might as well have been jalapenos. So it's like muted everything. Some of them completely. I can tell if something is sweet, but that's it. And I can tell that the wine 
that I drank last night is thicker than water, mm -hmm. but that's it. it. It might as well be water. It, it's so bizarre, man, and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. And I suspect that if they did have such appeal, you know, take take this and lose your taste buds for a week. I don't think anyone would ever take it twice. Lose your taste buds, but lose 15 pounds. Is it worth it? And you say no. I'll have to take your word for it. So, or, maybe, or maybe I'll be experiencing my own loss of taste coming, coming you in. Might. Next... You've been sitting here across from someone I... with COVID for three hours now. And, yep. And had my face all over this mic and who knows who was talking on it last. I can tell you who was talking. No, I don't, even want to, I don't even want to know who I, I don't even want to wake up in the morning blaming somebody. I don't care. Well, if you wake up in the morning sick, you can definitely blame me because I'm certainly the one who would have infected you at this point. All but right. I think you'll be okay. I'll I have okay. no, I have no other symptoms. I haven't gotten anyone sick at work or anything like that. I mean, you can tell my voice is a little bit off from what it normally is, or at least it it sounds like it is to me and my chest hurts a little bit, but mm -hmm. it was exhaustion being sore and this bizarre total loss of the ability to smell or taste. And it makes smoking difficult, right? I didn't realize this. It's not just my body's nicotine levels that tell me whether or not I smoked recently. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, being able to taste a cigarette. I know I just smoked a cigarette because I can taste one. Without that, I have been chain smoking a lot lately. Really? And it's because I have no... Sensors the the, me the messaging has been interrupted, and your brain isn't isn't getting that sensation that you are done. Yes, and you just want to. So I'm like, okay, well, let's smoke huh. a cigarette. And you know, it's, it's not that I keep track of it or anything like that. I don't go, oh, I smoked a cigarette at 7:52. I don't need another. It's just how smokers behave. We want a cigarette, and I don't taste cigarettes. So ending up smoking more, it's frustrating. Drinking more water, which is good, but the monster that I drank tonight, I don't, I hate the plain monsters. I hate them. They taste horrible. How many varieties do they have? 30 or 40. I mean, there's a bunch of different types of monsters. I prefer these relatively new ones. They're called red dogs. They're mm -hmm. these sports type monsters. They're non carbonated. It tastes just like some sort of cherry Kool Aid. They're delicious, but they're a little bit more expensive. They sound disgusting. <laughs> and there's no point in drinking them because I can't taste them anyway. So I went, when I went to the store after the meeting tonight to, get a monster because I was tired. I just grabbed the first one I saw because screw it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to taste it anyway. It, it's not anything I would wish upon anyone, but you know, we're all recovering. Mark was on the show the past three nights. He's doing better. Captain reports that, you know, he should be on the show tomorrow. Good. Good. So he's feeling better. And Michael is good to go to. I don't know. And so, and so long. And thanks for all the fish Johnson. We'll never see him again. I'm not terribly. I mean, I never saw him a lot in the first place. I mean, he's a, he's a nice dude. He was on the show with me on Tuesdays, and, the, and as soon as his stuff went started getting crazy, he's like, he, listen to the way that we talk. He's like, screw you guys. I don't want to be in the same house with you. And then we never saw him for a year. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. But then it, it, coincidentally, he gets sick <laughs> the first night he comes back. No, the first night he came back, he got us all sick. Possibly. I mean, we don't know. Possibly. Hey, thanks for listening. We'll be back same time tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Hey, developers. Do you want to add Bitcoin to your